Hi guys, I'm very excited to be going over the new releases with you for this week. These are already up in shop, but this video will be an overview of everything and a detailed explanation of it all. So we have two foil bundle exclusives, um, and then we have my second ever weekly kit, and then we have some extra stuff. So first, let's go over the weekly kit just to get the printed stuff out of the way. This is not exclusive art this time. In addition to doing exclusive arts, um, I will occasionally do some art sets that are not like adequately represented in other shops. So sometimes it's only a printable and there isn't a printed version or um, the shops have done it in like a format that most people don't really, most people at least that are my customers don't really use um, or they just like aren't really being used at all. So. This was one of the sets that I've seen in a couple places, but like in a format that isn't super useful and y'all voted for me to do it. So this is the Taylor kit. It is based off of the Taylor Swift Eras Tour that I think has like, you can see it, I think starting later this year and then into next year, I believe. So a lot, a lot of you already have your tickets purchased. So I wanted to get this out sooner rather than later for you guys. Um, this was kind of a hard bundle or kit to put together, um, be especially because of the color scheme. Like, um, I think it was Dinda who did this from Milk and Berries. She, like, did a ton of stuff um, that was all, like, very Taylor Swift accurate, but it doesn't necessarily all, like, have a color scheme that really goes together. So I kind of had to manipulate it a little bit and um, I had to recolor some stuff. Um, and also I am not a Swifty myself, so I don't really necessarily understand a lot of what is in this kit, but I try to just make it look like a planner kit and try to make things kind of make sense a little bit. So this is what we got. This is the first page of full boxes. We have our fashion girls here. Um, we have our double box scene of the stadium and then there is one fashion girl here, which there are going to be options to switch her out that I'll show you at the end. And um, we have one of the tailors here with a couple of disco balls and the piano behind her. Um, and then we have a few flat lays. There aren't really any upright boxes that aren't people because there just weren't enough upright items, but tons of clothing flat lays. So we've got that, um, got that one. And then this one, I tried to like kind of keep the color schemes so that they would kind of go together a little bit. Um, and then this one over here with like the bag, the friendship bracelets, and then the little glasses that say, I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> Um, and then for the second page, we have two additional full boxes. Um, this one is another kind of flat lay, but it's got a hand with the friendship bracelets. Um, I think these are album names, if I remember correctly. And then we have this one, which is of the hands with the 13 painted on them, which again, I'm not too sure what the 13 represents, but it is something. Then we have our deco here. Weekend banner, um, sidebar trackers. This page we have the glitter headers, movie marquees, habit trackers, flags. And then we have the little things. So the th uh, four colors that I went with were this light pink from there, the light blue, um, this kind of purpley color that you can kind of see a little bit in there, um, and then this yellow, which. I think is somewhere it's like an orange yellow it looks more orangey on the screen but then it prints kind of yellow so that is that but I think it works and then we have these solid color the patterns the patterns were also kind of hard to work with I had to recolor two of them um, and then we have page seven with the rounded boxes again I will kind of demonstrate to you how the rounded ones look because it's kind of hard to tell based on how they are on the sheet and then we have a, um, a couple of like mini heart checklists up there in the corner and then for the bottom washi page we have our solid we have the patterned one these patterns were also not seamless so I couldn't really repeat them so it's a very blown up version of this pattern um, and then we have our date covers and then we have this extra full box with um with the hand with like the nails painted in front of the stadium there is also an alternate version of that box and then if you get the mini kit you will get 
page one, page two, page three, and then this is going to replace all the boxes and labels. And then you will get the bottom washi page as well. So these five pages are the mini kit. So as for the freebie, we have this tall box freebie, um, which is another scene that she did. And since I had done a tall box freebie already for the first kit that I did last week, I thought I might as well just reuse that same template. Um, I feel like there are occasions where I might do a big box and this maybe could have been one of them, but I just think it's a lot easier to work with a tall box and a big box. And if I could fit it into a tall box format, then I decided I would. So here is this. I think it is of like one of Taylor's performances. This must have been like the set or something, if I remember correctly. Not, it's not, it's not about me remembering. I've never seen this in my life, if I'm guessing correctly. I'm sure one of y'all will let me know, but it was a very pretty scene, and I don't think I've seen it in other versions of this art that people have used, or at least I haven't seen it enough, so I'm glad that I can provide that for you guys. And we have a lot of add-ons this week because there's fashion, so um, we have the same two add-ons that you all guys are familiar with. We have this one, which is half heart checklists and then half pattern full boxes. So we have this one, which is just like a very light pattern, and then we have a very dark pattern, depending on what you want to do and what foil color you're going with. If you're using a lighter foil, it'll contrast better against this one, and this one is honestly just begging for a foiled overlay. Kind of matches that pretty well. Um, but if you're using a darker foil, then it's going to go better over this one. Um... And you probably are going to pick those, are going to want to pick those up based on the amount of foil overlays that are available. And then we have um, this label sampler sheet, which has the four colors. Only three of them are actually like labels though. And then this one over here is just the headers. I explained it last week, but these were all of the headers that were requested by you guys. So each one is there. So whatever header you use is probably on there. And then... Um, oh, also, um, my little things are kind of like the standard format these days that everybody is doing, where it has like a little icon space and then it has the rest of it, but I do have these two little things on here that are completely blank, um, and they are the size of the headers too. I think the headers might be a tad bit smaller, but they're about the same size. No, I think they are exactly the same size. So you can put a script over these and make them your own headers if you want. That's uh, something I've done in the past many times. But yeah, so those are the two main samplers. And then we have our fifth color, which I did say I would do whenever the occasion like arose. And I honestly don't think this kit needs a fifth color, but I just wanted to like play around with like doing that. So I took the red from there. I made that the fifth color and it doesn't I don't know how well it goes with the others I don't think it super goes well but I don't know I just like that shade of red and then there was another pattern that um was like green leaves that I thought was really fun and I kind of wanted to use that so I made some of the leaves red and it kind of looks almost like the beginning of fall there but yeah so here is the um label sampler format or the fifth color sampler format, and then we have this, like, world's tiniest little thing here. It's even um, shorter than the other little things, but it's still perfectly usable for that. That's just what fit in the space. Um, but yeah, that's the fifth color sampler. We have uh, five extra little things on that as well, and seven headers, and then um, just everything else, basically, from the squared off boxes sheet. And then for fashion, we have... Um, this is called the extra boxes sheet because we have three completely new boxes. Um, these are the other tailors that Dinda drew. Um, and they're all like just performing. I guess these are from previous performances of, of hers. So, um, so yeah, we have those and then we have the alternate skin tone for the, um, what's it called? The I'm never going to find it now because I'm looking for it for this box, the bottom washi box. So we have the alternate skin tone for that. Um, so that is the extra boxes add-on. And then we have the fashion add-on, which is alternate girls of that. So um, they are identically placed. So you can um, just switch this part out with any of these to still have the complete double, uh, double box scene. 
Um, I also, I did recolor her hair to be a bit darker than it is in the art um, because it looked, it was like a really light brown. It looked almost like the red hair. So just know that like that's the red hair and that's supposed to be the, the brown hair. Um, so yeah, I did my best recoloring that. I think I did pretty well. Um, but yeah, and then we have the black hair and then we have the like medium skin tone with the black hair. So those are the options for the fashion and that is basically the tailor kit. So, um, in order to go with that, I didn't necessarily want to do a whole tailor, like, foil bundle exclusive because I already had two other foil bundle exclusives coming out this week, which I'll show you in a second, but I did want to do just a little bit. So, I have this one a sheet of overlays. We have two quotes. Um, we have her signature, which I put at the top, but you can easily just, like, cut it out and put it at the bottom of a box. There are some boxes here where, like, a coat would be better at the top, and there are some where a quote would be better at the bottom. So I did want to give you guys both. Like, this one, the quote, like, would be better at the top. So, like, that fits pretty well. Um, meanwhile, like, that box would be perfect to have a quote at the bottom. So it could be that one. Um... And then this one could be just on anything. I feel like over a flat lay, this one would work really well. You could also do it over one of the fashion, not the fashion, one of the patterned full boxes. And then this one can really just frame any box, honestly. And that is like actually a silhouette of Taylor, which is nice. You can tell because she's got that straight hair. Um, so yeah, that is the overlay sheet. Um, I do recommend Silver Pixie Dust for this kit. Just because, like, it gives me, like, the glittery disco ball vibes. Um, and Sparkly Hollow has, like, a much larger glitter pattern that is going to kind of run into the busyness of this kit. But Silver Pixie has a very, like, tiny, subtle glitter pattern. So it's not going to, like, overrun anything. You could also do plain silver. But that's kind of what I recommend. Like, I really, I really think that kind of gray tone is going to look really good over the four main colors of the kit. Like, it's not going to run into any of them. Um, I also have a 15 millimeter washi overlay, which was kind of a last minute request from one of y'all. Um, I did this one with um, the icons of the albums. Again, no idea which one goes with which, like, literally at all. But I'm sure this will have some meaning to you if you're a Swifty, so... Yes, that is the 50 millimeter overlay. I do recommend um, pairing the music foil bundle with this. It's also going to be in, put back in new releases just for your convenience. But that bundle has some stuff that works very well with concerts. And it's also just generically music themed. So of course it's going to work with a concert. It's just music notes for most of it. And then you can pair that with these two to make it more Taylor Swift specific. Or um, another one of my followers who has a shop um Kristen's planner she came out with a Taylor Swift foil bundle as well which her format is very different but um I highly suggest you check that out because it looks really good like the underlays are really good like I think that you might like to go with this um and you can always just like grab some of that grab some of my foil mix and match do whatever you like but she already came out with the bundle so I was like good now I don't feel bad about not doing it because I'm not a Swifty and I don't know how good I would do with that. So check out her shop for sure. It is already listed in her shop as is this. So that is the tailor kit. So now let's go into the foil bundle exclusives. These two have been on my list since a very long time. Like I feel like a year maybe. Um, the first one I have is football, which I haven't seen football foil like anywhere. I'm sure there are some shops that have it and I just like haven't checked, but I haven't seen it advertised like anywhere. So I don't know. I'm really glad to be able to provide it to you guys, basically. Um, also, I'm pretty sure Planet Hannah has, like, some kind of football foil, but I literally cannot keep up with all the other foil shops. But either way, I am glad to be able to provide, like, a cohesive bundle for you guys um, because there has been a lot of football art coming out lately. Not a lot, but I feel like there was that one exclusive art that SBC did that I picked up for some reason because I am not a football watcher, but... I do keep picking up the football kits, and I did talk to my boyfriend the other day, and he was kind of, like, joking about taking me to a football game, and I was like, yes, please, because I need to use up these freaking kits that I have, <laughs> and he kind of laughed at that, but hopefully that actually comes into reality, but yeah, so here's the football kit, oh, and also, I was going to say, um, uh, Andrea from SBC also reformatted the game day kit, um, 
which I have the full boxes of the old version, and I have held on to these for years, ever since I got them, I think from the BST, um, because I've been waiting for the actual kit to, like, reappear magically somewhere, and then she reformatted it, and so this was my last, like, FOMO kit that I was missing from SBC, so now that I'm gonna pick it up, I will be complete with SBC. I, there's only one other FOMO kit from another shop. I've been pretty good about buying all the kits I want throughout the years, a little too good, my wallet would say, but... Um, so I do have these at least to tell you, and that's why I kind of follow this in bronze, because I feel like bronze would be a good color. Another good color would be grass green. Um, it's kind of like a lighter green like this, but it would also kind of run into this a little bit, and also it's a matte foil. So what I usually recommend in those cases is using that as the underlays, and then using this as, um, using a bronze as like the overlays. Um... And if you want me to like mix uh, mixed foil this bundle for you, just shoot me a, D a DM on Instagram or an email, and I will send you the link for the mixed foiling upcharge for foil bundles. It's like two bucks extra, and then I can foil this and like basically however many foil colors you want, and I'll just do whatever you want with that. So I have done that before. Um, but yeah, that would be a fun way to get these in that green color and then the overlays in the bronze for a mixed metal moment that probably might be what I do I don't know we'll have to see let me just pull it out real quick so I can show you what I was thinking there's that grass green which like I feel like some parts of the kit it like works or so you couldn't see that but like yeah I think that would be the color of green that matches best but yeah, other than that, like, brown is the way to go because it's a football kit, so brown goes with footballs. Anyways, so here is the first page. Here is the confetti design. We have our footballs, helmets, jerseys, goal posts, all in there. And then the underlays I really like. These are fun to design. I kind of mixed in football play symbols with footballs. So those are really fun. And then for the next page, we have our headers over here. We have our confetti, alternating footballs, and then the football plays for our header options. And as usual, upon request, I can basically customize which ones you get. So if you want all confetti, I can do that. If you want just these two, I can do that. So just let me know. Um, that is free of charge as well. And then we have our two quotes. This one I thought was really funny. Um, football is my favorite season. I kind of like came up with that one. Um, like football season you know it's kind of like a season so that's just me being funny for the full cover quote and then we have the more subtle quote which just says game day which hilariously is the name of the kit that i just showed you that is reformatted and then we have all of our deco here we have some football players as well that you can layer over full boxes or just do whatever you want with those as deco and then for the bottom washi page we have the um the, like the pattern 15 millimeter which has alternating footballs and goalposts and then we have the confetti and then just the usual stuff on the rest of that page date dots weekend banner tiny deco and dividers and then the optional add-on um is these four like full box overlays we have the little football player in the corner we have the football border we have the helmet four corner border and then we have just the football quote going up the side um, and then we have our swoops up there, and then we have the corners sheet, and then your full set of full reinforcers. So as usual for these bundles, they are available printable or physical. Um, they're available unfurled or foiled in any of the 46 foil colors available in shop. And this, um, you can get the mini or ultimate. Mini does not have underlays. Ultimate, um, for the foil bundle exclusive at least, there's only one style of underlays. Um, and then the optional add-on sheet is for both the mini and the ultimate sizes. So there's that. And then also, I forgot to do this last week, but I do usually do the um, big box and the tall box overlays now with foil bundle exclusives because it really is just the bundle. But I did want to have these at least as an add-on so that if you are using like a tall box or something, then all of your overlays will like work and they'll all match 
um, instead of having to buy just like generic overlays, which I do have in my basics collection, but I like the themed ones here. So you do get these sold separately. Um, they are included in the printables listing though. Okay, so, and there are also many previous football kits throughout the years that you may already have in your collection that this will go with. I may do something on Instagram to kind of show off the ones that I have, but SBC definitely has a couple lately. All right, next is, I feel like a very highly anticipated one. This is Magical Halloween. So it's like a Disney Halloween themed bundle. Um, this would be perfect for the um, the pop mystery from SBC that came out fairly recently that was um, like a Disney Halloween theme, but this is another theme that has also been done many, many times throughout the years. Um, so I do have... I do have at least a couple Disney Halloween kits in my collection. I didn't pick up the pop mystery, so I don't have that to show you because I didn't think I'd use it. I already have one in my collection that I'm probably never going to use. So um, I can't exactly show you that, but I feel like orange might go really well with that. So anyway, um, for the design, we have like a little pumpkin Mickey. Um, this one is like a little Mickey head with a spider web in it. I feel like it's not focusing. Come on, you can do it. So there's the spider web and there's a spider dangling off of that um this one is like a jack skellington mickey with the little zero next to him you may recognize that from the nightmare before christmas collection in my shop but it's just called nightmare um and then we have a little mummy mickey head and then there's like a little mickey treat that's like spooky fied basically so that's kind of the confetti we have two medium or not medium with two full Confetti, full box overlays, two medium four corner, two medium two corner, and then the double box scene. And then for the underlays, I kind of wanted to go with something a little bit more elegant. Something that kind of gave me vibes of like the Haunted Mansion, because that is like a very spooky Disney thing. But I didn't want to take it directly from my Haunted Mansion wallpaper underlays. Um, so what I did was I took the cameo underlays and I made them a circle. And I put the little pumpkin Mickey in the middle, and then I added some of the, um, some of the Mickey head bats in there as well, which I forgot to mention. They're also in the confetti, but they're just kind of snuck in there in the pattern. So yeah, I really like how these turned out. So those are the underlays, and then the next page we have the headers. We have our confetti headers. Um, we have the little Mickey head bats and Mickey heads, and then these are just some spooky mickey heads and i made some new ones just for the sheet so there's one with like a spider cut out this one with the larger spider web cut out and then there's a little moon cut out as well oh and then there's one with a little jack-o-lantern face that i also made new for the sheet um for our quotes we have i wish you a not so scary halloween because um the halloween party this year is called mickey's not so scary halloween party um and then I did this one, this the more subtle one, saying boo to you, because that is the name of the parade that happens during that party. It's called the boo to you parade. So well, that kind of makes sense. And then we have all of our deco. We have some more of the like spooky treats on there. So that's all four of those that are not really featured anywhere else in the kit, but they are on there. And then for the washi, we have the alternating pumpkin head Mickey and the bat Mickeys. And then we have the confetti. I'm trying to like show you a black version hitting that certain lighting because I feel like it's kind of hard to see that bright orange like pattern. But anyways, you'll see the mock-up listing on the website. And then the optional add-on sheet. Um, we have two kind of Mickey shaped designs. Ignore the splat dot. That will not be there in any final versions. But we have like the mickey head and then the outline of the castle and then um little bats and a moon in there as well and then this one we have um i think that is mickey and minnie just like out there on a spooky fall evening um this one we just have the pumpkin head mickey in the border and then this one is a whole gang going out trick-or-treating at the bottom so we have donald goofy um, who's that? I don't know who that is, but then there's Mickey and Pluto. It's, I don't think it's Minnie. Who knows? Anyways, 
we have these swoops over here. We have the corners, and then we have the whole reinforcers. So that's the optional add-on for both sizes. And then, of course, we have the tall boxes and big boxes. So I forgot to do these two sheets for the farm for a bundle exclusive last week. It was kind of a deliberate decision because um, I didn't see any like tall box or big box overlays out there with any farm kits. Definitely not the SPC one, which was kind of what that kit was made for or what that bundle was made for. Um, but it occurred to me that there are other like farm themed kits out there. There's one from Paper Candy Art and I think she sometimes does big boxes. So I wanted to have these as an option for you in case you wanted to use one from another shop okay and then lastly for this week's releases are just something i kind of threw together based on some clip art that i found that i really wanted to use um so we have more halloween quote boxes and these are kind of themed on halloween signs which i just love this like sign look so i found these and i just needed to use them so i have some of these foiled in orange and some in purple to just show you guys so um here is the first sheet, if I remember correctly. I forget, they're all labeled in the shop. But here's that black version so you can kind of see what they say. This one's the Black Bat Apothecary. We have the Wickedly Delicious Witch's Kitchen. We have Witch's Brew Coffee Company. And then Witch's Brew Coffee House. So that's one of them. Um, and then here is the kind of Hocus Pocus themed one with the um, Black Flame Candle Company, Sanderson Sisters Brewing Company, um, Sanderson Bed and Breakfast, and <laughs> Children Stay Free. And then it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. That's in purple. And then here is um, the third sheet. So we have two little kind of doormat signs. Wickedly Delicious Witch's Kitchen. Halloween party trick or treat, which is your welcome. Sleepy Hollow dead and breakfast, and then home of a witch werewolf and their little monsters live here. And then that one, I just had room to foil in both colors, so you can kind of see what they look like in both. So those are technically part of the Halloween collection, but I am going to be adding to previous collections just throughout the years because they're never going to be completely finished. Um, and now that I have the base collection, I can just feel free to add on any little extra bits I can think of just whenever so these can be found in the Halloween collection which is in desperate need of a reformat I will admit but yeah that is basically it for everything for this week everything as I already said is already listed in shop so feel free to head right over after you watch this and pick something up and yeah dm me if you need any help or if you want me to do anything special or custom for you I usually am very good at accommodating so thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be wonderful. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.